I told you guys I'll make a part two. This is part two for this monster, so let's get started. Alright guys, so we're back. This is going to be part two on this new mythic monster, and let me tell you this, I absolutely enjoy using this mythic um there is one creative combo that i'm going to be doing uh, i'll make a video on it very soon it won't be on my account because i don't have the other monster that's needed but you guys will see it it is amazing uh hopefully if everything works out and i can go ahead and publish that for you guys but take a look at this i went ahead and rank this monster up to rank 4 currently it is rank 4 level 140 it's still at level 100 though so we're gonna go ahead and feed it up right now but yeah, this mythic monster, man, it is so, so good. I'm thinking about using this monster in this war because right now we are facing champs, Elysis. As you guys can see, the, I, I think they're like number three, right? Let me check the team rankings. Yeah, they're number three and we're number two. So I'm going to be using this mythic in my uh, base in war. Um, I'm thinking about doing it. I'll have to see. But right now, I have it to rank four. I can actually rank it up a little higher. But um, yeah, I have about 775 Nebulas remaining. I'm thinking about taking it to the Rank of Survival Dungeon and, you know, ranking it up from there. And uh, we can also get tons of cells and Nebulas as well because, once again, I'm liking a Nebula right now. 775, I used to have like 4,000. But this monster took most of them. I blame this monster. But hey, this Mythic deserves it, you know. It is amazing. And I told you guys to rank this Mythic and invest in this. This is like literally one of the best, if not the best monster right now. Best supporter, I'd say, in my opinion. So we have it to rank 3 now. This gives you a area random positive effect, which is so, so good. I mean, we've seen this with Darkuma, for example. Darkuma has the same exact thing, uh, the status caster, and it is amazing. Uh, it is very difficult to counter it if there is no positive effect removal to things like that in Team Wars, for example. Um, but yeah, what's going to make this war so interesting is that Spectra is actually in this restriction. I'm going to have to ruin it up very soon. So Spectra is in this restriction, and so is this mythic monster so this is going to spice it up but anyways i'm gonna take it to bvp we are going to test out this 140 level 140 um gahizel so the thing is i think i i'm not sure about this but i feel like i got this health gene or whatever it's called from breaking up a monster no was it not okay never mind i i guess i just mix it up with uh med pack because this is from the legends pass and then this one's just when you rank up your monsters okay that makes sense so what I'm thinking about doing is we can probably give in like a health chain to this mythic. We can also do face shield. Although face shield is being used by one of my other monsters in defense. Although I don't really have my defense set. Look at the runes. <laughs> you see the runes here on Elephanetic? Yeah, no. So it's fine. What we can do is give you anything like, for example, uh, we could go back to that health chain thing. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's go with that. So yeah, this mythic does have an area evasion skill, guys. Uh, if you scroll down, uh, this right here, I actually missed out on this yesterday. I'm like, what the heck? I kept reading over it, and I'm, uh, yesterday finally somebody commented. And I was like, he does, she does have a you know AOE evasion. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? So I'm gonna go ahead and probably swap this and uh, use it for the perficator. But the thing is, this skill right here also comes in handy in case if you get hit with cooldown activation. So you can apply it to your Megaton, for example, or whoever you want to save. But anyways, I'm super excited to test out this Mythic. So let's go ahead and test out our level 140 rank 4, uh, Gahizol. So let's go. So let's see what we have here. 23k, 26k. What's my speed? 30k. Oh my goodness. It's a 140 versus 150s as well. That's crazy. And uh, surprisingly, you have the same amount of team speed. You have two here, one here. So it's basically three team speeds. The same thing with me. I have no team speed on my attacker. And apparently I'm still faster uh, by like 4,000-ish uh, speed. That's crazy. That's actually insane. All right. So here's what we can do. We can take it in the first turn. We go ahead and apply the evasion with the extra turn. There we go. And then we can go ahead and apply double damage to our attacker. And let's see. Hopefully we, get, we end up getting a triple damage on, on our attacker as well. Is that a damage boost? Damage increase. Let's go. That's a triple damage. Nice. Oh wait, it's not a tri triple damage, it's just a damage boost. Okay, I thought it was a triple damage, but still, 50% damage boost isn't bad. Now, I can also apply this if I want to save anyone else, uh, because I know this monster has a cleanse skill, so you can remove positive status effects, and unfortunately that will be gone. Um, and then this monster will just like time stop me or something. So let's just go ahead and apply evasion to my attacker as well, just like that. Okay, so there goes that. Oh, I thought you'd actually take it down, never mind. Okay, so you just remove positive status effects, no damage. Cool, cool, cool. So look at this damage output, man. That's crazy. Hold on. What I'm thinking about doing 
is Petal Sight, and the monster will die. So what's it called? The other thing will kick in, uh, Spirit Battery, so it will save me from dying. Low drag kick. Oh wait, never mind. Evasion's still there. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah evasion. Uh, but even then, I mean, even if evasion wasn't there, uh, I had Spirit Battery on my other monster that died. It was still gonna kick in. So evasion to an ally if we wanted to. Uh, we can actually kind of cycle this. Well, we don't need the damage boost. But then we can still cycle that unknown skill. So we could just use this for fun. We could do double damage. And then we apply a random positive effect. What is that going to be? Evasion. Okay, I thought it was going to be something else. Uh, but we can actually save ourselves here as well. We could go with the evasion. So that won't give us an extra turn. And there we go. That saved us from, you know, getting hit with curse. So yeah, this right here, see what I mean? When you get hit with cool activation, you have this as a backup in, in case you need it. So if I want to apply it against to myself, since the small is taken in turn right after, I can go ahead and do that and save myself. So even if you tried to remove positive side effect, which you didn't, but if you did, then I would have still survived. So let me take you down. There we go. The tank is dead fully now. No more coming back. Let's see what happens here. You hit me with time staff. We get our ultimate, but unfortunately, if I end up using this, it's just useless. I'll go ahead and apply evasion to my attacker there. Trying to save my attacker. Looks like they're going after Gahizol. Yeah, my ultimate's just useless in this battle. That's the downside for this monster's uh, ultimate. Because there's two dodge area monsters here. It won't really work out if I try using it. Okay. Uh, yeah, pain makes you stronger, won't work, so let's just charge up. Pain distiller, ouch. We might lose this. Oh, wait, 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 no. Let's remove all negative status effects. We applied increased healing. Let's go ahead and apply double damage, although I'm not sure if that'll... <laughs> yeah, because I ran out of stamina. Can't even cycle anything. Fortunately, my supporter died. Ah, I'm gonna die here. I'm actually dead. I can't do anything. Oh, man, it's just the double dodge area combo that uh, saved them, honestly, because I got my ultimate. I could have used that, it's just that it wasn't going to land, if that makes sense, because there were two dodge area monsters. Okay, so there's Blameria. Cool, cool, cool. So what we can do is start off with the evasion, get into the extra turn, burning hate fist, nothing. Guess what? We're also going to apply double damage, get an extra turn, animation kicks in, nothing, <laughs> because there's evasion with positive effect protection. Uh, we can also do this, whatever we get. What is it going to be? Cool and immunity. Guess what? Zero damage. Now the thing is, what I've noticed is that none of these monsters could actually remove positive status effects. What is it with this player's base? None of them can remove positive status effects, so... Uh, like, th this is just a win for me at this point. Look, zero damage, zero damage over and over again because of evasion. Nice, nice, nice. Burning Hate Fist gains a double damage. Alright, his Zul's turn. Let's go ahead and play around. Man, it's so funny because Ansuijin keeps kicking in for Blumeria. And like, she can't do anything. We'll go ahead and cycle this. We're just gonna have fun with Blumeria getting the Ansuijin. You know, Ansuijin keeps kicking in. And you can't really do much. Chi, sorry. Blumeria's a female monster. Forgot about that. Alright, Rotten Berries, zero damage. Global Warming, zero damage. So that's the thing, it's a level 6 monster. By the way, I accidentally leveled it up a little because I took it to the adventure map and I won some battles. So that kind of leveled it up a little. I wanted it to stay at level 4 the way it was, but it's level 6 now. But anyways, look at this. Look at the amount of positive status effects I have. I have double damage, I have dodge area, I have evasion, cooldown immunity, water, hater. Then there is immune to torture as well. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. I already have cooldown immunity as my trait, but yeah, there goes that. Okay, well, <laughs> Blameria, I'm going to need you to just look at this. Look at this damage output. It's a 150 versus another 150 Blameria. There's Soul Drag as well, but it's okay because remember, we have Spirit Battery that's going to save us. And also, we have Evasion, if I'm not mistaken, so let it kick in. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, Spirit Battery is going to help me out. Um, let's apply a random positive status effects, which is going to be evasion apparently. Double damage won't help us out. We already have double damage on our attacker. We can do global warming. Morgs armor, okay. We can do, no, we already have double damage. Let's actually charge up for some stamina, let's gain some stamina. Okay, now we can go ahead and apply a random positive status effect. Damage increase, it's a double damage. We don't need this other double damage then. We just hit you with Burning Hate Fist. 
My monster. Oh, I thought it was gonna die <laughs> because uh, Mog's armor kicked in. I thought I was dead. Wait, if my attacker actually ends up dying, it's over for me. Unless I end up getting my ultimate with this monster. Because it's a level 6 pango, and that monster's gonna keep healing, so it's gonna be annoying. Let's not kill our monster then. What's your. You have zero Mog's armor, he says. Let's see that. You know what? Let's just do auto, honestly. Let's see what the AI does. Protection trait evasion. What? Yeah, start uh, boosting up uh, the other monster, the attacker. Why are you doing it to yourself? Anyways, victory, and we ended up winning that. Oh, cool, cool. This is fun. Like, using this monster is just so much fun. All right, we're going to take it to another battle. Let's see how this one goes. There is Spectra with Pierce. Spectra can't do anything. The AI Spectra is just so dumb. It keeps recharging against evasion, so that'll help us out. But this monster right here, if his Lord Nebatos doesn't have the Rune Pause or Status Effect seal, then we're good. They can't do anything at that point. Unless, I guess, you end up getting your ultimate. I'm pretty sure you have a Rune Pause Status Effect with your ultimate, right? So here's what we can do. We can start off with the evasion. Get an extra turn. Yep, okay, so you did use your Rune Pause Status Effect. Uh, we can go ahead and apply the evasion. Because I'm pretty sure Spectra will charge up. Calling the weak. Okay, you went with that. Never mind. I guess it has to be evasion to all allies. Look at this. What? It's a all... Okay, two of them are 150. The other one is 140. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yo, what? I have Earth Hater. None of these monsters are Earth, but I do have that triple damage. I got the triple damage too because of his status caster. Uh, her status caster. Sorry. Got Hazels. That's insane. Look at that triple damage, guys. It came from her status caster. So sometimes you can end up getting lucky like this. And look at that. Just wipe them off all together. Man, that is just so much fun to use. Uh, I Another thing I wanted to try out is Spectro with this mythic monster. Because lots of you guys told me that Spectro is going to be a good combo. And I actually agree. Spectro would be pretty nice to try out. So we might as well try out Spectra. Uh, because I know exactly what you're talking about. Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and I borrow your runes okay i'm gonna have to swap these runes my boy okay just like that and we're gonna select spectra i have no runes on spectra <laughs> look at my spectra runeless we're gonna go with two strength runes and one speed uh or two speed sorry one strength two speed and we can actually run killing the weak i'm currently running bullseye i normally don't run Killing the week unless I really need it. And like a team war or something like that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we can go with our laser beam sword. Ingwe is using it. And then here we can go with like a Ingwe Tanis amulet just in case if I need to um, gain any stamina. And we can do either unrouting assault or absolute zero or whatever. I'm thinking about doing unrouting assault. So I can gain multiple turns. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I'm super, super excited. Okay. Alright, let's see what you got. Uh, cheer along with Lord Nebatos with Soul Drag. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with Random Torture Blocked. What? It just kept spamming it uh, because of this monster. Look, I, I ended up getting Dodge Area. So there's no torture on any of my monsters. Not even my Megaton because of that Dodge Area. The random status caster that I got. And I have 50% damage boost. Thanks, uh, got his all. Anyways, we're gonna start off with the Evasion getting an extra turn. Mad Whisper, zero damage health. Um, let's see what we can do. We can do double damage to Spectra, so that's 150% damage boost in total. And then we can apply a random positive status effect again. Let's see what it's going to be. Dodge area. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we can do evasion. I don't really need it, honestly, because it's just that monster taking a turn. And guess what? It's not even going to work. Corrupted Dragon, even... I don't think Ignores his Bliss is also going to work because I have uh, dodge area. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> I have 150% damage boost. So I can start off with killing the weak if I wanted to. The double damage unfortunately only lasts for one turn though. So the thing is, we don't really need killing the weak here. Because look at this, Falling Fire, and remember, I'm running Naunting Assault. And even if the Ant's Potion kicks in over and over again, it's completely fine. Because this player is not running Impure. Or whatever it's, kill it's called, right? It's something Impure. Basically, it removes positive status effects and apply Death Countdown. Uh, we've seen it. The AI didn't really do it first or second turn, so I doubt that this player is running it. We can do Falling Fire here. I don't think Assault kicks in. Right, we got an extra turn. And now it is the attacker's turn. Awful Dream. Yep. Didn't think so. I want to see how much damage I can deal 
with Culling the Weak. So let's do Culling the Weak, which applies vulnerability. And what we're going to do is we're going to cycle this. So, Spirit Battery kicked in, uh, uh, 1000 damage or 1000 HP. We can apply the double damage again. We can do a random positive status effect. Okay, it's going to be immune to control apparently. Uh, we can do this for fun. Forgotten. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now you're using your brain. Okay. So, look at this. We have 48,000 strength. Remember, guys, I'm running one strength and two speed. It's not like it's two strength turns. It's just one. And then I have the uh, double damage with the 50% damage boost. Let's do one shot, one kill. One of her best skills. 538,000 damage. 538,000. Wow. Alright, uh, this is a fun combo, man. Uh, so, here's the thing, guys. I recommend running this mythic on your defense so that players have a hard time beating it. Because remember, you get a random status caster, right? You get that random AoE status caster that everybody gets in your team. So it's going to be really nice if you actually run this monster in your turn uh, or on your defense. Uh, they're just going to have a difficult time beating it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually swap these two. I'm going to take down my monster deer. Uh, I could actually go with a banana. What do you guys think? So I keep healing as well, so it's annoying for them to actually end up killing my monster. I could also do Rodden. Rodden's not that bad. We could do like triple team C Rodden so that it keeps resurrect resurrecting in case anybody goes down. Uh, I don't know about that. Let me see. So let's have fun with Blimeria, the team that we used earlier. Uh, the Gahizol monster. And then we can do Pangoloyat, level 6. Oh boy, oh boy, look at this. Now, I'm not going to do anything else besides uh, Spirit Battery. You know, Spirit Battery, yeah, it's nice. If I do Soul Drag, it's not going to deal much damage since it's just a rank 1. You know what I mean? If it was a rank 5, level 6, Pangolaya, then yeah, it makes sense, but no. Uh, Banishing Touch, Smite, Absolute Zero I see. Pain and Sealer won't help out. Static Shock, no, no, no. Maybe Static Shock would. So, I'd say... Uh... Lots of players are going to start using Stalkiller or Spectra the most now on offense because of Pierce. Pierce, it'll just pierce through anything. So I'd say this monster is going to become popular again. This and uh, Stalkiller for sure. So yeah, this is going to be nice. Um, I'm going to run this, see how this goes. And I'm going to run the face shield. So where's my face shield? There we go. We're going to give it. Oh man, this level 140 Gahizel. Let's see how this actually plays out. But yeah, let me give you your spirit battery back. Okay. So yeah, um, this is going to be fun. Alright, I hope I get some wins on my defense now <laughs> with those three monsters. But anyways guys, if you want the team war against Champs Elysis uh, where I use this monster in this restriction, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on. And let me know in the comments down below, of course, as well. But anyways, I want to hear your opinion, your thoughts about this mythic. Whether you like it, whether you dislike it. Let me know. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.